The city of Oakland has been searching for a permanent police chief for coming up on a year now after former chief Laron Armstrong was fired by Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao last February. Yeah, a lot of crime has gone up during that time, most notably cr property crime. But as our conference Dan Kerman reports for us tonight, most of these crimes have been trending upwards for years now. Some have decided to place the blame for Oakland's crime problems directly at the door of Mayor Sheng Tao, who at this point has been in office just over a year. Tao is quick to point out, as she did to Crown 4 News last week, the city's rise in crime began before she took office. Crime in Oakland has been on a steady rise since 2019, a full three years before I took office. And it is dishonest for anyone to state that crime started rising under my watch only. Looking at the numbers, that statement is true in certain areas. For example, total homicides started to increase in 2019, but the numbers have remained relatively steady over the last three years. Shootings with injury have risen since 2019, and while there was a slight dip in 2022, 2023 saw those numbers go back up again. Robbery is a different story. While it's gone slightly up and down over the last five years, the 38% increase between 2022 and 2023 was dramatic. Turning to property crime, auto burglaries were high in 2019, then dropped for a year and have been rising ever since to a level in 2023 not seen in the last 10 years. Commercial burglaries have also seen a steady increase for the most part over the last five years and have almost tripled since 2019. The mayor says new neighborhood strategies launched in September are already seeing success. We are seeing, like in Chinatown, Uptown, and Jack London Square areas, for example, we have experienced 42% decrease in robberies, 32% decrease in auto burglaries and bipping, 38% decrease in theft, and 13% decrease in commercial burglaries. Of course, plenty of factors go into the rise and fall of crime, among them poverty, unemployment, police strategies, the number of police officers, and in recent years, COVID-19. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.